I want to walk you through how to create purchase standard events in Facebook or Meta. This is a brilliant tutorial. Let's dive in. I want to walk you through how to set up purchase events. Earlier, I walked everybody through how to set up lead events. Now let's look at how to set up purchases so that when somebody, you know, joins your level one or buys your product, it is tracked properly on Facebook. So if I go back to the events manager, just a quick reminder for how to get here. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to your events page. So um, on my Facebook account, I have to go over here to the three dots, right? To, you know, they call it, some people call it the burger, right? or tools over here. And then you want to get to event manager over here. When you get to events manager, you want to select your pixel. So I'm going to select my pixel. Yours might be on the left-hand side. Everybody's um, dashboard looks different. So I'm going to select my pixel over here. And on the left-hand side, you can see that I have three different pixels. When you land in your pixel, you want to go ahead to settings. And then you want to scroll down. So on my dashboard, I have to scroll down to event setup. And then over here, you want to click on open event setup tool. So the first thing you want to do is you want to grab the link for the pages that we are going to be using. So there are three events that we want to set up. The first is on your sales page. We want to set up a view content uh, action here. So the sales page for my products, this is my product page now. So for the purpose of this demo, I'm using my level one membership. So if I open this here and I click over here, it'll open. I'm going to simply grab this link. So I've got that and I'm going to go over to the events manager, which I already had opened. I'm going to paste this URL here. I'm going to click on open website. So now that the website is open, it's given me the event setup tool. Oops, I'm just trying to move this. Let's try that again. Just want to move it to the side. There it is. Okay. There it is. So I've got this event set up too. What I want to do is click on track a URL. So you can see that it's pulled over the URL that I uh, put in. So now I want to make sure to see, let me see if this event is still there. I'm looking for the view content event. It might, they might have moved it. If, if they have, then we don't need it. That's fine. Oh, it's there. view content. It's the last one here. So I've got the view content event. All I'm saying to Facebook is when somebody lands on this page, all they've done is view content. And that's fine because it, you know, it's a bit of a conversion for us because at least they've landed on this page. So we have view content and there is no value because they're not buying anything. They only buy something after they have skipped past the order form. So I'm going to say don't include value over here and I'm going to click on confirm over here and I'm going to click on finish setup. You can see down here it says setup complete and it is now complete. I'm going to click on finish over here. Uh, I'm going to choose the smiley face. I'm going to say, don't ask me this again. I'm going to click on submit, click on done. And that is now done. So that's the first one we want to do. The second thing we want to do is we want to go to your order form. So imagine that somebody lands on your thank you page, uh, pardon me, on your sales page for your level one or any product you have or your level two, etc. And they have um, viewed the content. That's this page. The next thing after they click the button is they're obviously going to go to your order form page. So we're going to open that. I'm going to simply grab the URL here. Then I'm going to go back to events manager. I'm going to click and open the setup tool once more. Once I have opened the setup tool, what I'm looking for on this page is initiate checkout. So I'm going to paste the URL, click on open website over here, and then I'm going to wait for the event setup tool to pop up and it's just come up here. I'm just gonna move this because it's easier for me. I'm going to click on track URL here and confirm that the URL matches the URL that I had copied, which is fine. And over here, because this is the order form page, here we want to click on, we want to select initiate checkout. So, which is right here. So I have initiate checkout right here. And again, because this happens when they are just landing on the page, I'm not going to include any value here. And I'm just going to click on confirm over here. I'm going to click on finish setup. I'm going to click on finish. 
don't ask me again. It keeps asking me the same questions. And that is done. There is one more thing that we want to do, and that is your thank you page. So if I go back to this funnel, my thank you page is actually another product, but it is the thank you page for the product that they have just purchased. So I'm going to open my thank you page, which for those of you who are in a profit on demand system, my thank you page for my level one is actually my level two. Now, some of you, if you're level two, or if you don't have another product ready, then you just have a normal thank you page, which is fine. So you do complete this step, this step with that thank you page. However, when you have your level two, or if you have a low ticket product, you know, like an upsell, you want to make that the thank you page. You simply grab the link like I have done, come back to um, Facebook, head down to event setup tool once more, click on that and paste the link for what is your thank you page. Click on open website. So it says to use Facebook event setup tool, make sure that your browser's pop-up blocker is turned off. I didn't even know that it was on. Let me just do this. How it falls on this site. Let's try that again. Open website. So it's just having to reload. That's fine. I'm just going to try that again. So click on event setup tool for my thank you page. Uh, paste my thank you page link in there. Click on open website and it is open. So now it should bring up the event setup tool page for me, which I'm going to move over here. Now for this event setup tool, what we want is your uh, purchase over here, because this is what confirms that you have had a purchase. So again, I'm going to click on track URL, confirm that URL has been tracked, skip down and click on purchase. And so here you can include a value. What is the value of the purchase? Some people don't. Sometimes I don't, sometimes I do. But if I wanted to add a value, choose value, uh, sorry, use value from initiate checkout. Initiate checkout isn't set up on this site. Okay, interesting. I think I did do that. And um, choose value on the page. You can do that. So if there's value written on the page, you can or don't include value. So the reason why it's not allowing me to move this is because you can probably see that down here, this is actually um, an upsell, but it's from a different platform. This is from Thrivecart. This page is from Go High Level, and this right here is from Thrivecart because I haven't changed everything over to Go High Level or Coachera as we call it. So I'm going to make those changes real quick um, so that I can just uh, use the value from the initiate checkout right here because I think that that's so much better, and then come back and finish this step. I have officially fixed that page so I can now come in and I should be able to, I'm going to click on cancel and just do it again. So I'm going to open event setup tool. I'm going to paste the link here, click on open website and we should be ready to rock and roll. Perfect. I'm going to move this to the right because I just prefer it on the right hand side. I'm going to click on track URL, confirm this is the right URL and for the event, what we are looking for, the setup here for the confirmation page is purchase. I'm going to click on purchase. I select purchase and here it says use value from the initiate checkout. Um, for some reason that's not working, but this works. Choose value on the page. Now, because this is an upsell page and I already have the value on here, um, all I had to do was select this. Um, so if I go back, let me just go back, don't include value, then go back to choose value and paste so you can see what I did. So you can see that's given me all these boxes and it's looking for me to select a value. Now, clearly this is where the value is. It's $49 per month. So I've selected it and now it's updated it here. Can you see that? So I'm going to change the currency to USD because that's my currency, just so things can track properly. And I'm going to click on confirm. And that is done. Click on the finish setup. Click on finish again and submit. And now that is done. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, I talk about all things recurring revenue, automation, social media, and systems, all of that good stuff. So go ahead and subscribe to this channel so that you can see our videos three times a week. And of course, if you haven't already grabbed our latest workbook, it is normally $47, but I'm giving it away for free on this channel. And it is your recurring revenue workbook. If you wanna have recurring revenue in your business and something that has absolutely changed my life, I've put all of my strategies inside of this workbook and it'll be linked right below this video. So go ahead and check that out. Of course, don't forget to check out this video before you leave.